So you woke up this morning and you took a look at your tank and there's some red matte looking junk growing on your rocks and in your sand bed. Let's talk about it. I'm Logan from Reef Rookies and I'm here to help you demystify saltwater aquaria. That red stuff that's growing on your rocks and in your sand is probably cyanobacteria. Now a lot of people like to call this red slime algae, but it's actually not algae at all. The cellular makeup is quite different and it's even in the name cyanobacteria. So when you start doing a little research about this stuff, what you're going to find is that it happens in both high nutrient and low nutrient systems. And because of that, it can be difficult to determine what you need to do to fix it. There are several different types of band-aid products that you can get on the market that will make it go down in population. And some people even say that reducing your light exposure, which I do agree with, could help you get rid of the cyano, but the problem is if you don't fix the root of the issue, it's just going to come back after you put everything back to normal. So what causes it? Basically, a nutrient imbalance. It's not that all your nutrients are high or that all your nutrients are low. It's that you have an unbalanced system. That stability that we want is not there. And because of that, your good bacteria starts to dwindle in population, leaving room for the cyanobacteria to take over. So in my opinion, there's a couple of different things that you can do, and I would do all of these things together to try to combat the cyano. You can manually remove it through vacuuming into a filter sock or something like that. You can recycle the water, but you catch the cyano in, in the sock and you take it out of the tank. You can cut back on your light time a little bit, remove a couple of hours, three or four even maybe from your light cycle because it is photosynthetic. And if you remove some of that light nutrient, you can help get rid of the cyano that way. You're going to have to figure out what's causing your imbalance. So if you're looking at your phosphates and nitrates and your phosphates are higher than you want them to be and your nitrates are lower than you want them to be, you want to get that flipped around the other way. There's a lot of different ways you can do that. You're just going to have to research and figure out which way is going to be the best method for you. And along with that, you can dose some good bacteria into the tank. Something like Microbacter 7 is one of my all-time favorites. You can add that to the tank as you're trying to fix all of this other stuff and reestablish that nutrient balance, reestablish that population of good bacteria. And when you remove the cyano, the good bacteria is in the tank and it can start overpopulating the cyano and it beats the cyano out for nutrients and eventually it goes away. Now, if you've done all that and it's still not working, another thing you can do is add something like ChemiClean to the tank. Now, when you're doing this, you have to follow the directions explicitly because it is an antibacterial. So it's going to kill all of the bacteria in your tank and it's going to take some of the good bacteria with it. So you need to be prepared for that. You need to have a skimmer on the tank or if you don't have a skimmer, you're going to have to add oxygenation to the water because all of that dying bacteria is going to consume the oxygen in that tank and you can deplete it and cause yourself even further issues if you don't increase the oxygenation of the water in the tank. Aside from that, once you get to the end of the cycle of using the ChemiClean, you're going to have to prep a series of big water changes. Now, this stuff is going to make your skimmer go absolutely nuts if you have one, and it's going to be overflowing all the time. So you're going to want to have a skimmer that has a drain line that you can put back into the tank, or if it's in the sump or something, you can just take the cup off and let that skimmer overflow like crazy because it's going to do that for a couple of weeks. And then once you've done all of that and the cyano is gone, you need to be prepared to add that good bacteria back into the tank again and start reestablishing all your parameters. It's not the end of the world when you get this stuff and you can beat it. I've beat it before in this tank and unfortunately I have it rearing its ugly head again because I dosed some fuel and uh, maybe overdid it a little bit. 